Today, we're going to read the book Chester's Way by Kevin Hinkies. Before we read Chester's Way, I'd like to remind you of a few sight words for you to look for as we read through Chester's Way. W-H-E-N, when. H-A-V-E, have. T-H-E, the. A-L-L, all. Sight words are words that don't follow regular phonics rules, so we have to spell and say them so that we will know them when we see them. N-O-W, now. I-N, in. T-O, to. C-O-M-E, come. O-F, of. A-N, an. Y-O-U, you. W-E, we. These sight words all happen very frequently in many texts. So when you see them, you need to know them without sounding them out. The words are when, have, the, all, now, in, to, come, these are all sight words we're we'll find in this book and many others, of, an, you, and we. Be sure and listen and watch for these sight words as we read the book Chester's Way by Kevin Hinkies. Do you have certain ways that you like to do things? Things that make you happy when they go just the way you hope they will? Do you have friends that like to do things the exact same way as you? Do you have any friends that only like to do it their way? Let's see what happens to Chester and his friends in the book Chester's Way by Kevin Hinkies. This is the title page of the book. The title page tells us the title again, Chester's Way by Kevin Hinkies. You can see a picture of Chester reading a book here. This book is for Jenny. That means the author has someone named Jenny that this book is especially for. Chester had his own way of doing things. Hello, my name is Chester. I like croquet and peanut butter and making my bed. Do you like croquet, peanut butter, or making your bed? Do you know what croquet is? Let's read and see what else Chester likes. He always cut his sandwiches diagonally. He always got out of bed on the same side. And he never left the house without double knotting his shoes. Chester always had the same thing for breakfast. Toast with jam and peanut butter. And he always carried a miniature first aid kit in his back pocket. You definitely have a mind of your own, said Chester's mother. That's one way to put it said Chester's father. Chester's best friend, Wilson, was exactly the same way. That's why they were best friends. Chester wouldn't play baseball unless Wilson played. And they never swung at the first pitch or slid hit head first. Wilson wouldn't ride his bike unless Chester wanted to, and they always used hand signals. If Chester was hungry, Wilson was too, but they rarely ate between meals. Some days I can't tell those two apart, said Wilson's mother. Me either 
said Wilson's father. The book they're reading is called Advanced Croquet Tips. Do you know what croquet is? Chester and Wilson, Wilson and Chester. That's the way it was. They loved to go on picnics. Once, when Wilson accidentally swallowed a watermelon seed and cried because he was afraid that a watermelon plant would grow inside him, Chester swallowed one too. Don't worry, said Chester. Now if you grow a watermelon plant, I'll grow one too. Chester duplicated his Christmas list every year and gave a copy to Wilson because they always wanted the same things anyway. What do you think duplicated means? Chester would have made his own list and the context clues say he gave a copy to Wilson. So what do you think duplicated means? Here's Chester's copy and here's Wilson's copy. For Halloween, they always dressed as things that went together. Salt and pepper, shakers, two mittens on a string, ham and eggs. They really are two peas in a pod, said Chester's mother. Looks like it, said Chester's father. And look, one year they dressed as two peas in a pod. In spring, Chester and Wilson shared the same umbrella. In winter, they never threw snowballs at each other. Do you have a best friend like Chester or Wilson? Someone that likes to do everything the same way that you do? In fall, they raked leaves together. And in summer, they reminded each other to wear sunscreen so they wouldn't burn. If you have a best friend that likes the same things you do, would you be able to remember to tell them to wear sunscreen? That's not the kind of thing that most kids think about. Chester and Wilson are perfect for each other. Here's a context clue about what croquet is. You use this mallet and this ball and these brackets and this stick to play a game called croquet. Let's watch in the book to see if we can find any more clues to help us understand what croquet is. Look, Ch Chester's reading a book called Bike Safety. Would you read a book called Bike Safety? Maybe we all should. Chester and Wilson. Wilson and Chester. That's the way it was. And then... Lily moved into the neighborhood. What do you think's going to happen when Lily moves into the neighborhood? Do you think that Lily will be exactly the same as Chester and Wilson? Do you think they'll become friends? What do you predict will happen next? Lily had her own way of doing things. I'm Lily. I am the queen. I like everything. Do you think Chester and Wilson are going to like Lily? Do you think Lily is going to like Chester and Wilson? Let's see what happens. She wore band-aids all over her arms and legs to look brave. Why would band-aids on her arms and legs make her look brave? Why do you usually wear a band-aid? 
I'm a yellow. She talked backwards to herself sometimes, so no one would know what she was saying. And she never left the house without one of her nifty disguises. Look at this picture. In this picture, do you think that Chester and Lily will be friends? Do you think that Lily will like Chester and Wilson? Do you think Wilson and Chester will like Lily? Lily waved at all the cars that passed by, even if she didn't know who was in them. And she always carried a loaded squirt gun in her back pocket, just in case. She definitely has a mind of her own, said Chester. That's one way to put it, said Wilson. What do you think? Do you think they're going to be friends? When Lily asked Chester and Wilson to play, they said they were busy. Do you think they're really busy? When she called them up on the phone, they disguised their voices. Um, uh, we're not home and said they weren't home. Is it nice to tell something that's not true and say you won't play with a friend? If Lily was walking on one side of the street, Chester and Wilson crossed to the other side. If you saw Lily walking down the street, would you stay on the same side and be her friend? Or would you do like Chester and Wilson and move to the other side? Lily sure does have a lot of nifty disguises. She's something else, said Chester. Looks like it, said Wilson. One day, while Chester and Wilson were practicing their hand signals, some older boys rode by, popping wheelies. They circled Chester and Wilson and yelled personal remarks. What do you think the author means when he says personal remarks? Look at the look on the older boy's face. Look at the looks on Chester and Wilson's faces. Do you think the personal remarks the older boys are making are nice or mean? Chester and Wilson didn't know what to do. Just when they were about to give up hope, a fierce looking cat with horrible fangs jumped out of the bushes and frightened the older boys away. Do you think it's really a cat? Who do you think has come to save Chester and Wilson from the older boys making personal remarks? Look what that cat has in her hand. Who kept a loaded squirt gun in her pocket all the time? Are you who I think you are? Chester asked the cat. Of course, the cat replied. Thank you, Lily, said Chester. You're welcome, Chester said Lily. Thank you, Lily, said Wilson. You're welcome, L Wilson, said Lily. I'm glad you were wearing a disguise, said Chester. And I'm glad you all had your squirt gun, said Wilson. I always do, said Lily, just in case. Do you think things will stay the same now? Or do you predict things will change? How do you think things will change after this point in the book?
afterward, Chester invited Lily over for lunch. You have a muscle mouse cup, said Lily. Of course, said Chester. I do too, said Lily. Same here, said Wilson. Chester and Wilson cut their sandwiches diagonally. Lily asked Chester's mother if she had cookie cutters, and she made stars, flowers, and bells. That's neat, said Chester. Wow, said Wilson. Chester and Wilson used to think diagonally was the only way to cut a sandwich. Do you think they'll still think their way is the only way now? That night, Lily invited Chester and Wilson to sleep over. You have a night light, said Chester. Of course, said Lily. I do too, said Chester. Same here, said Wilson. Chester and Wilson wanted toast with jam and peanut butter for breakfast the next morning. Boring, said Lily. Try this instead. She had oranges and Cheerios and strawberries and maybe icing or sugar under her strawberries. This is good, said Chester. Wow, said Wilson. Do you think Chester and Wilson are learning something from Lily? Do you think from now on they'll think that their way is the only way? After that, when Lily asked Chester and Wilson to play, they said yes. When she called them up on the phone, they had pleasant conversations. And if Lily was walking on one side of the street, Chester and Wilson waved and ran to catch up with her. Since Lily saved Chester and Wilson from the bullies who were making personal remarks, have things changed in their relationship? What has changed in their relationship since she saved them? Now they like her. They're willing to talk, talk about doing things her way, and they want to be her friend. Chester and Wilson taught Lily hand signals, and she taught them how to pop wheelies. Lily taught Chester and Wilson how to talk backwards, and they taught her how to double knot their shoes. Has Lily changed? Lily hasn't changed. It's Chester and Wilson who realized she was pretty great all along. Some days I can't tell those three apart, said Lily's mother. Me either, said Lily's father. Look at their shoes. Do you think they're each wearing their own shoes or do you think they've switched? Chester and Wilson and Lily. Lily and Wilson and Chester. That's the way it was. Do you think that that's the only way it can be? Do you think things could ever be better? Do you think things could ever be worse? Do you think the relationship between the three characters will always stay the same? Or will it change? For Halloween, they dressed as the three blind mice. For Christmas, Lily gave Chester and Wilson nifty disguises, and they gave her a box of multicolored shoelaces extra long for double knotting. They loved to go on picnics. When Chester and Wilson told Lily about how they had each swallowed a watermelon seed once, Lily swallowed three of them. I'll grow a watermelon plant for each of us, she said. In spring, Chester and Wilson and Lily shared the same umbrella. In winter, they never threw snowballs at each other. 
In fall, they raked leaves together. And in summer, they reminded each other to wear sunscreen so they wouldn't burn. Chester and Wilson and Lily. Lily and Wilson and Chester. That's the way it was. If their relationship changed, could that be good or could it only be bad? What does Lily always have in her back pocket? And then Victoria, Victor moved into the neighborhood. Oh no, look at Victor. Do you think Lily and Chester and Wilson's relationship will stay the same or will it change? Do you think they'll give Victor a chance? Well, that's for you to decide. I hope you enjoyed this book, Chester's Way by Kevin Hinkies. I hope you were also listening for these sight words. We, you, an, of, come, to, in, now, all, the, have, and when. And if anybody new moves into your school or your neighborhood, I hope you'll give them a chance and see if their ways of doing thing, things might be just as good or better than the ways you've always known. This has been Chester's Way by Kevin Hinkies.